is so stupid it's positively brilliant. The brilliant See? What is this, Taylor? Stop lying. Why do y'all lie like this? Why would we have to lie? You've been lying a lot since you turned Haitian, yo. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. T- I'm, now the Haitians are going to come get you. It's going to be the Haitian hive. They're going to come get you because you just said that Haitians are liars for I did no not reason. Say that. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Yes, you did. I said, you, said you no turned Haitian. But I didn't even turn Haitian. I don't even know how to turn Haitian. Angela Rye is Haitian, if you they, don't know. That's what they said on Wikipedia. I, I don't know. You go to her Wikipedia they don't want, page. They, they want to say that I'm not a descendant of United States slaves. She's so. a Haitian American lawyer. That is so crazy. You, but you're American, so they said you're white. They just said you're a mayonnaise American uh, radio I am personality. <laughs> I am 97% West African. Mayonnaise American radio personality. I don't think you can say that. Why? They might say you're using a racial slur. To say mayonnaise? Yes. How is mayonnaise racist? That is a trigger word for some Caucasians. Yes, yeah, but that's because when you say when you say mayonnaise, you say it harsh. I say I mayonnaise say flavored mammals. See, I didn't say that. I did not say that. I didn't say any of that. And I only say it in reference to racist bigots. Well, they said that you're a mayonnaise American radio personality on Wikipedia. I looked it up. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. You, did you, you know the lady in Mar- I gave her donkey the day today. What's the lady in Maryland name? Marianne. Um, she's a uh, she's a, a Maryland lawmaker. That means she's in the legislature? Yes. Okay. And she said that uh, PG County is the nigger district. (gasps) You didn't hear about that? Is she white? Yeah, of course she's white. She did not say that. Yes, and she apologized to like the black caucus down there and everything. She said that PG County is the nigger district. Why did she say that? She was sitting around having a conversation at a cigar bar. So here's the thing that I want to talk about. Why is Black History Month, this Black History Month in particular, they've used it to like... Trigger, try, frustrate, la- and be real racist. Oh, I got a whole theory about that. What is it? Because last year's Black History Month was too lit. Oh, y'all niggas Wakanda. was feeling yourself too much. Black Black Panther came out yeah. during Black History Month. You had the same stuff you always have, like the All-Star Game and CIAA. You had the Oscars. Who won at the Oscars last year? Oh, no, the Oscars was a little better this year. Oscars it was, was really way Black, Panther. Black Panther. Black Panther Black Panther had y'all feeling yourself. Y'all walking around here and y'all dashikis and y'all little crowns Somebody and even taking y'all little African Eddie ancestry Murphy's tests. Dad, <laughs> Eddie Murphy's dance thing in, um, the, from Zamunda. Zamunda. The little, the little tiger. They Another were country Zamunda. ran by black people. That's not a shithole country. Stop making up fake ones and use some real ones. But that is the, that is the, that's why this Black History Month has been so tough on black people. Why? Be, because they gave y'all Black Panther last year. So this year they making up for it. You said they gave y'all. That they did. So you think rude. the white man didn't do that on purpose? Anyway. You I'm, think they didn't film Black Panther and say the perfect time to put this out is during Black History Month? Okay, so let me ask you this. Yes. How do you think Gucci can recover from the blackface turtleneck? And can Burberry recover from the noose hoodie? First of all, I don't wear Gucci. I didn't ask I you. I time out. See, this is why we fight. Because I didn't ask you if you wore Gucci. I said, can they recover? Gucci ain't going nowhere. Y'all niggas is not throwing away y'all Gucci. <laughs> okay? <laughs> you, you just scratched just your say? throat just now because you know you got some very expensive Gucci pieces in your closet Look, you are not throwing excuse away. Excuse me. I just, this is all I want to say because I believe in authenticity. I do have Gucci bags. I'm not using them. Bags, plural. I'm not using them right now. And I did switch my bag as soon as I got home from the when the incident happened. I am really hoping that I do not have to consign them. But you caught the wrong one if you think I wouldn't if they don't fix this. Well, fix it how? They they, you know how I feel okay, about Okay, so this is what I want to talk about. Okay. How, what's, how would it be fixable? How can they recover from it? I don't think they can. First of all, this is the thing, right? Most of the people that are boycotting Gucci can't afford Gucci anyway. So you can't boycott what you can't afford. Okay. Most of these people have never bought Gucci. So you can't boycott what you've never bought. All the people who actually Does it can count af- if they bought it at the swap meet. <laughs> yes. Like, like what if they what if yes. people, wait, what if people were like, okay, I'm boycotting Gucci. I'm not buying no more Gucci at the swap meet. Yeah, but you don't want to get cut off from your people and you wearing bootleg Gucci. That's if I get cut so off from my funny. people, it's because I'm out here styling in some real Gucci. Okay. Like Floyd Mayweather. Okay? Oh Lord. But I don't like my thing is this. I never cared about Gucci. I don't wear Gucci. So I don't know what do you they could wear do. any designing designer labels. Not really. Like right now I got on a, a, a April Walker sweatshirt. April Walker is one of the first the first, the only black female designer that I can think of. You know what I'm saying? My homegirl Ty put me on her yesterday. She's actually on the shirt. It's mm-hmm. Huey P. Newton. And then it's April Walker. I got on Art Meets Chaos jeans. Those are black owned. My man Don. So it's just like I I don't 
I support my, this, like I said on the podcast before. Do you wear Nikes? No, I got on Pumas right now. And you know why I got on Pumas? Because my man Emery Jones, you know what I'm saying? But, the, but, but Puma is still owned by white people. Puma's actually say owned by the same people who own Gucci, if I'm not mistaken. Oh! I think so. Oh. It's the same fashion oh, so house. You're, so, you're wearing, so you're wearing Gucci. No, y'all said y'all boycotting Gucci. No, I said y'all boycotting the whole fashion house. Y'all were very specific in who y'all were boycotting. Y'all were very boycotting. specific. Yes. Well, I didn't say that I was boycotting, although I'm not wearing it or using it right now. So what is that called? I don't mind I don't mind boycotting you. Did I ever tell you the story about my dad and when I was... when I was? Um, I, that don't got nothing to do with, you don't with know all what that Gucci I'm, in your closet. Let me t- don't it's try, not no. all that Gucci in my closet, but let me tell you this. Do you know that when I was in the... F- fourth grade going into fifth grade there was a big nike boycott i can't remember what it was for because i was in the fifth grade mm-hmm. but i just got the brand new jordans my dad would he let us still wear the nike stuff but i had to put black duct tape on the back of my jordan so you couldn't see the nike logo do you know how mad i was people were saying i had pro wings on instead of jordan <laughs> i was so pissed like that is so fast so anyway my point in bringing that up is that was back in the day when jordan and nike were like the same thing because I think Jordan is, is is its own entity now. Well, it's Jumpman, but it's still a Nike subsidiary. I don't, I'm not sure. Look that up, son. I'm probably right. Fact check it. No, who cares about facts? It's 2019. Anyway, the <laughs> point I'm raising is I don't mind a boycott. I've had to do this all my life when it hurts the worst. Yeah, you don't mind a boycott unless it's a brand that you love like and a what? brand that you spent a lot of money for, Gucci. But I am boycotting. I'm not using any of those products. And my dad still let me wear my Nikes and I shouldn't have been wearing Why? them. This, this is my thing with Gucci, too. Why do y'all Negroes think that a fashion house owned by Europeans that has been around for hundreds of years gives a damn about you, darkies? Okay, can you not say darkies ever again? Um, I think that that's probably true. Mm-hmm. Here's here's what I think could be done. I think that um, fashion houses have to diversify. I think when you don't have people at the table who look like us, who have that who have that same kind of historical understanding and context, you're bound to make tragic mistakes, deadly mistakes. Um, I think they need people in senior leadership who are black and understand, mm-hmm. um, not because they are trying to put a Band-Aid on this, but because they deserve to have seats at the table. There are some really powerful fashion execs who are black who they could hire. Mm-hmm. I also think they need black people on these corporate boards. Um, one of the things we found out with H&M when they had that was it coolest monkey, coolest in, the monkey jungle? in the jungle. They didn't have any black people on their board. Put black people on these boards that talk about your profits and treat diversity mm-hmm. like it's just as important as your actual profit, your revenue, you know, your revenue, what you're making in the market. I think the other thing they they should do and could do is hire consultants of color to ensure that people like on every whether it's marketing and communications or external external affairs or government relations or um, ad firms, like all of these entities should be a part of like their like their ecosystem and not just like, oh, that's the black one, like an actual part of the ecosystem and the decision making. I think those are the things that can turn brands around and they shouldn't just do it when there's a crisis. They should do it because it's right. Y'all not tired of integration. What? Y'all not tired of integration? Like y'all not tired of like always wanting a seat at the table instead of like building our own table? I don't think that those have to be mutually exclusive. I think that we could build our own tables and still mm-hmm. demand seats at the table. Any place where we spend money, Dr. King said it best. If you you can't respect my dollar if you don't respect my person. And what that means is I'm not going to spend my money with you if you're not integrating me and not just not just like for the sake of integration, but making me a part of your ecosystem. If I spend your if I spend my money there, I've literally built your brand. Yeah, I just don't like us always looking for validation from these entities that don't give a shit about us anyway. And it's almost like this stuff that's like so expensive and so out of our price range, the stuff we shouldn't be buying anyway because we really can't afford it. But we mm-hmm. do it because it makes us feel better. Or we're stunting on the, the next black man, the next black woman. Yeah. Like it's like, why do we put so much investment into that they're not doing nothing for our communities like zero zilch nada like we're act, we're literally saying we want more people in these rooms mm-hmm. to help them make more clothing that we can't afford you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying more clothing that our people are gonna kill each other over more people that's more clothing that's gonna make our people feel insecure about themselves because they can't get it for what well and i think part of it is that this is where you have a conversation about black people not being monolithic we're not monolithic there are black people who can't afford these brands oh yes like you, you. know whatever there are black people who can't afford these brands and there are black people who want to wear th- these brands and they mm-hmm. should be able to the other thing i think we should be talking about is um virgil uh what's his last name off-white 
I don't Abla. Know. He off Abla. white, but he got a whole white family. Anyway, God. Virgil got a whole white you. family. Somebody You're sent me a so... picture of Virgil. I thought he was photoshopped in there. Anyway, that is not my point. <laughs> he can marry whomever he wants yeah. and have his family however he wants. But the thing that I was going to say was he's like, he's an exception, right? He has this this opportunity with Louis Vuitton that's an exception. It's not the norm. That should be the norm. There are black designers who are incredible. You said you're wearing one right now who could be have deals with these fashion houses. We know Pierre Moss has like that deal with Reebok. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's rare. Those should not be rare anymore, right? <laughs> I like guys like Jerry Lorenzo. Fear I love God. Jerry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love I, Jerry. I, I, I like I like black owned companies with but black owned designers. But you also know designers. he has a deal with Nike. That he so does. So I'm saying you can still maintain your own brand and then do these partnerships where to me that big brand is benefiting from it more than the designer. Like he's doing, he's been doing fine. I rock, but see, I like the Jerry Nike deal because even though we know you know Phil Knight sells guns to both sides. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the whole Republican, Democrat thing. The fact that Nike has traditionally always fed black people in some way, shape, mm-hmm. or form. Whether it's endorsement deals, whether it's, you know, building community centers. Like, that, it makes sense for Jerry Lorenzo to have a deal over there. Like, I can see them doing something like that. I mean, goddamn, Nike got Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. You know what I mean? But Virgil is the first. You know what I mean? The yeah. first at Louis. They yeah, don't give yeah, a damn about true. us. And they probably did the deal once they saw his whole white family. It was like, okay, He's, Shut he's, up. That is so crazy. He's black, but he's off black. That's why. <laughs> you are such a troll. Off black would be. This is why we should have started great... by reading the Daily Stoic. You need that to ground you in the name. <laughs> off of black God. is a great line. That should be the new spinoff. Off black? Off black. If you do that, your Twitter friends are going to drag you. I don't be on Twitter no more, so I don't even know what y'all be doing. Yeah, dragging. I can't be doing I can't do the replies. I had to silence the replies. <laughs> 